Hi, I'm Susan Peterson. I'm Director of Verification IP Product Management for Cadence Design, and I'm here today with Moshe Rubin. Moshe is our specialist in product management on the MIPI protocol. And uh, Moshe, what do you want to tell the folks here? We've been doing verification for the MIPI protocols for a couple of years now. We're a contributing member to the, to the, the MIPI Alliance, and what's new? Well, as part of our 30 plus protocols support in the verification APs, we have a full solution for verification of all the MIPI protocols. And if we step there in a second, we can show you how our verification view of the MIPI protocol looks like. Kidden's verification AP portfolio contains more than 30 protocol support. For each one of them, we supply the full verification environment. So it starts with uh, BFM and checks to monitor the protocol behavior, but on top of that, we are giving a compliance management system with verification plans and random test suites to uh, exhaustively test all scenarios of the protocol. Now, specifically for MIPI, we have uh, in production level DSI, CSI, and SlimBus products. For each one of them, we are suggesting the full verification capabilities, starting from the basic modeling until a high level uh, abstraction. And uh, we are planning to release later this year the DiggerF and the Unipo 1.5 products to complete the full MIPI portfolio. And this is the time to go into the demo so you can see how it looks like. When you talk about verification AP, you usually think about BFM and some checks at the monitor. Cadence verification AP is much more that. With each of the AP, we have a verification plan, and what you see here in the demo is actually the CSI2 verification plan that translates each section in the spec into verification plan. It means that for each section or subsection in the specification, you can see what are the scenarios that needed to be tested in order to be sure that the spec, that the design is aligned and obeyed to the spec rules on one side, and on the other side, all the assertions and checks that are relevant for this subsection. So let's look here on the CSI 2 V plan. For example, we look at chapter 7, 8, and 9, and it's the exact format and structure is the section in the specification itself. And what I can do, I just go over the specification and go down into the subsection and see what are the needed scenarios and what grade do I have according to the verification progress up until now. It means that on then Y, I can load up this verification plan see where I am, and each step in my verification cycles, I can see which scenarios are still are being fooled, like this one with the 100%, or are still holes that need to be tested, like this one in the red with 0%. Now, this is a very comprehensive interpretation of the spec, and with each VPLAN, we have a perspective that gives you only the IOL conformance test suite, so you can choose to look only about the relevant scenarios that are in the post-silicon test suite and see those, which that will be a subset of the overall verification plan that we offer. So this is a verification plan that comes with the verification AP from day one, and the other side of it, it's a full random test suite that aim to achieve all these scenarios and to test your device to get you 100% so you can sign off the verification and know that your design is uh, compliant to the protocol. So this was just a small test of the verification plan for the CSI2, a very similar verification plan we have for each one of the media protocols inside our verification IP portfolio.